Hello, today we're taking a look at the Tournament 214 SPX. Now this model is optioned for the budget-minded angler and starts at just under $35,000. Now everything I'm going to show you on this boat today is included in that price and for specifications this boat measures in at 21 feet 4 inches with an 8 foot beam, 64 gallons of fuel, 15 degree dead rise and 10 inches of draft. So now let's take a look at the bow. Now one of the main features of the 214 SPX is the bow layout. Now all the hardware up here is flush mounted for an obstruction free casting platform. Now on both sides we have lockable rod storage, five on one side and five on the other side. Now center of that we have a nice size fish box which is insulated and right behind that there is a nice bait and prep area for your baits. Now this does feature a storage compartment and a ruler over the top. Now moving forward, we have the oversized anchor locker compartment with the trolling motor harness already pre-wired into the console. And to finish everything up, we have a high quality pull-up cleat. So now let's take a look at the console. Now in front of the console, underneath the bottom cushion, there is a 10 gallon live well. Now opening the back reveals some additional storage as well as the battery switch. We do have a courtesy light right there on the floor and on either side of the console, six rod holders, three on either side. A grab handle over the top and an acrylic windshield to give you some protection. For electronics on this boat, we have the Sportlink electronics integration system. Now this is a factory installed set of electronics that comes standard in the boat. It features the Garmin 64 CV that is paired up to the GT23 transom mounted transducer. Now this combination will give you chirp Blue Charts G3, as well as built-in Wi-Fi. To the left of that, you have your fuel, tack and trim gauges, 12 volt switches, 12 volt charging plug, as well as a sportsman steering wheel with a knob. Yamaha binnacle, two cup holders, and some storage below. Now for the leaning post on this boat, it is as comfortable as it is functional. It does feature the hourglass pattern on the upholstery, as well as two grab handles on either side and four rod holders across the back. Underneath, plenty of space for a cooler, and we do offer the Yeti slide-out cooler and the underleaning post tackle storage. For the rear deck, we have a two-person bench. Now the bottom opens up, revealing our total access hatch. It is lockable, providing you with some additional storage. This gives you best-in-class access for any service or maintenance needed. Closing this up reveals a totally flush rear deck. On the port side, there's a 20-gallon insulated cooler box that can serve as dry storage, and over on the starboard side, there's a 20 gallon live well. It is insulated and can also be equipped with the Pro Air bubbler system. Now in the splash well, all the rigging is nice and neat and it does have Seastar's hydraulic steering. Yamaha's 150 is the standard on this boat, but you can get up to a 200 SHO. Let's talk about the hull. Our 214 hulls have two performance features built in, starting with this enhanced transom angle. This will give you an additional one degree of engine trim. Also, we have this built-in pocket, and together, this combination will give you the best standard performance in extremely shallow water. This boat, as with every other sportsman boat, is NMMA certified and built to ABYC standards, representing the highest safety standards in the boating industry. So that's gonna wrap it up today on the Tournament 214 SPX walkthrough. If you have any questions, visit our website, sportsmanboatsmfg.com, or contact your local dealer. Thanks for watching.